Hey guys, GB Sheep 883 here, doing my first ever recording on my iPhone 4S, so I hope it turns out alright. Uh, it should be in HD, it's not it's not 1020p, it's not like 720 or something, but it's still HD. But anyway, just got my hand on an iPod Classic in black, or as they call it, graphite, um, in Apple terms. Uh, it's the only um, gigabyte model you can get, it's the 160 gigabyte. It's plenty for me, as you can see it's got the Argos shit on the back. Um, it was copyrighted from Apple in 2009, so I reckon this is quite an old one, because you'll see they haven't changed the classic for a long time, this is quite an old um, generation of it. But anyway, we're going to get straight into it. At first, let's look at the box. On the side, you've got iPod Classic. Uh, on the other side, you've got a side view of the classic itself, so seeing the metal and the plastic there. On the top, you've got... Um, if I just turn it around... <laughs> you've got the gigabyte size, same on the bottom. On the front, you've got a pic nice big picture of the iPod Classic itself. And on the back, you've got all the specs, and like some bullshit sticker from Argos, which will come off in a minute. Perhaps I'm on the cellophane wrap. I have to take my handy dandy key and see if I can get this off. I've got damage in the box, because I want to keep the box. I've kept my iPhone box down there, I don't know if you can see it. I want to keep this one. I was surprised in the box, I was hoping to get one of the really nice plastic boxes that, that the nanos and the touches come in, but no, the classic comes in this. And they're left handed as well, so sorry if it doesn't go to plan. Okay, so I've taken a telephone off, so there's the bullshit sticker there, and there's the nice specs. Okay, so we'll lift off the top, and we're going to take it off. Okay, very nice indeed. You've got the iPod on top, very nice packaging from Apple. It's like a little circle on the bottom, probably where the iPod's been pressed against it. Very nice, you just pull the little tab and it comes straight off. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm not going to turn it on in this video, so I'll do that on my own. Very nice back. You can actually see me there in the background on my iPhone. There's that, and then if you pull this little tab here, there's some documentation there, which I won't be looking at. Uh, oh, it's actually got the newer style 30 pin connector, which is good. To charge and sync. And you've got the old style earpods, because it's an old style iPod. Um, there. And then you've just got a dock connector, which I'll just leave in the box, so I won't need it. I'm going to put back any unnecessary stuff. I'm glad it actually came with earbuds because I won't have to use the ones from my iPhone. I think they're in my um, college bag at the moment, but yeah, so at least I'll have their own set of earphones that I actually like. I'm a bit dubious on the um, new earbuds because I don't know how they're going to be like, so. Mm, that just kind of like failed to close that box. Anyway, so that's an unboxing, and I'm going to give you a review later on, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!